at ArabiaWeeWeeBlogs.com. We all know Marcus Reva. Hey, hey, hey. I can't believe I'm so close to you, like, like this close to you. Our readers, like, completely fantasize over you. And, like, I'm getting, yeah, and I'm getting to sit right next to you. Welcome to Riga. Welcome to Latvia. Thank you. I've been before, actually. Yeah. Um, I came to write a few songs. So welcome back. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So how are you finding the whole Supernova experience? Because you've, you've been in it before Supernova. How are you finding it? Um, it's a nice journey and we're so glad that we made it so far. And today is the big day and fingers crossed for the best result. <laughs> but how does it compare to the national selection last year? I think this this uh, this one is better because we have more concerts, more live shows to gain our own experience through these live shows. And uh, the competition is more like tough and like you, you, you get more excitement, more stress like during all those uh, three and four weeks. So I think this this one is much better. And how does it feel like going into the competition as a solo star? Because you, you have had experience of being in a boy band. No, it was like a TV show in Russia where I was almost in the this boys band, like M band, which is now very famous in Russia and Ukraine and Belarus and Kazakhstan. And I made it like in the second place because we were like uh, two groups uh, for the super final and we didn't get a contract with this uh, very famous uh, Konstantin Milato, which is very famous in the region. And, but it was a very great experience and it was... Is it more pressure now for you because you're solo? It's not a pressure because uh, as a solo act, Marcus Riva, uh, I have been working like already for 10 years. So, because I, I was like... Uh, Did you start when you were six? No, <laughs> I'm not that young, unfortunately. <laughs> no, I, I started like when I was 18, 19, and so now it's just sort of like new, new like renaissance for me <laughs> to, to, to get on, on the bigger, bigger stage. So, reflecting on your career, would you say Take Me Down or Lights On? I think Take Me Down is more personal and more, more mature and more like... Um, with a Light Zone is, is... The song has a great message as well, but, but Take Me Down is more... I think more powerful and more, more energetic. Did you I, write it? Yeah, I think it's oh, an wow. ep epic song with, with this, uh, like, sort of new direction in my career. Oh, excellent. On Wee Vlogs, I'm not sure if you follow. Um, I do follow. Oh, <laughs> yes. Good, good, good. Well, it's a good job you do, because we have the Wee Wee jury, and we rate and review each song. And I, I mean, I, I like your song, but I really like the acoustic version you did of it. Oh, that's, that's the thing that we decided to do to show that this is a song that could be, could be like interrupt, uh, interpreted, yeah, interpreted uh, rather, right? in uh, different styles. So, so we decided to make it like stripped down version of taking it down. Oh, cool, 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 cool. And the video is oh. <laughs> with your tattoos, ripping off the shirt. Whose idea was that? That's uh, that is work by very famous Russian U Ukrainian music video director who is working in Russia and Ukraine, and he has made a lot of excellent music videos for the big stars from Russia and from Ukraine. And uh, yeah, he was the director of the show Hachuk Miladze. Uh, oh, okay. And uh, after the show, he decided to help some other artists from the show to 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 have their launch of career in this re re region, which is Russia and Ukraine and all those Russian smoking uh, territories. And so he he it was like a present for this uh, iconic uh, director. For me, and I think that's <laughs> the best music video that I ever had. And I, I mean, it's, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. And um, 
when you were shooting it, did you think it was going to turn out that good? Were you really I, 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 I was sure because I trust in Alan Bedoy and, and if we win, then he's going to be like a producer and director of, of uh, my show uh, for, for the big show. For, I love the way you're thinking ahead. Because he, he, he has experience with uh, some Ukrainian artists for the big Eurovision as well, like for Lobota, who was uh, for the big Eurovision from Ukraine a few years ago, and other uh, acts. And he actually did some work on our show here as well, but uh, we didn't like do it, all, all the stuff uh, that we wanted to do, but I think it's going to be a, a great show today. And Marcus, if you do make it to Vienna, what color will your hair be? I think it's going to be blonde. Yeah, I think it's going to be blonde. I don't know. Time will show. We're going to, uh, if we win, then we're going to make the best production and it, it, uh, I think I have to go, but it's going to be much different from this show that we do here because the stage is going to be different than all the uh, equipment in Vienna. It's going to be much better and much different, so we're gonna build the best show from that. And just before you go, give us your best fashion angle, look straight into the camera and give the readers a message. In fact, cameraman, move forward, capture Marcus Riva. Hello. And <laughs> Hi, Vivi Vlogs. Thanks for uh, having so much positive energy on my direction, so I really appreciate that and much love from Riga from Marcus Riva. Thank you guys! Thank you.